In this installment, we're going to look at how we can extend our enemy representation. So I made a spreadsheet where I made three different colored versions of my unicorn there. I made them all the same size just for convenience sake. So I just recolored them inside of Pascal while I was working. So what we're going to do is inside the enemy class. So if I go into the enemy class in my constructor, I am going to now adjust my enemy so that it can be of different types. So we'll use a random number to do that. So we'll go int random type is equal to, and the same way we've generated all of our other randoms, just like we did on wander. So we have three types that I work with here. And this is where we are now going to see the use of our offsets that we haven't used before. The offset allows us to say, hey, I want to be in a different section of my sprite sheet or texture atlas. Texture atlas is when we're combining together the artwork for more than one sprite. So if random type is equal to zero, then what we can do is go our offset and we have an offset of Y, not of X, because it's vertical. And my offset of Y will just simply be zero. And now at this point, I'm going to shrink it down. So I'm going to make this one show up a little bit smaller. So I'll just say my width is now 24 and my height is now 24. So we're shrinking it down. Close out my curly brace, else if random type is equal to one, this time will be the dark unicorn. So our offset Y will be equal to, in this case, you now the offset on it, well, is actually equal to four times the height of my sprite, which I can simply write as four times h. Now we can see that because if we look here, the top of this that's zero, now this is 1h, 2h, 3h, 4h brings us to the top of the dark unicorn. 5, 6, 7, 8. So again if we count the rows, this is, you know, eight rows that brings us there. So that kind of is going to tell us what the next one will be. And we'll just, for consistency, go width equals 32, height equals 32. And close curly, else if random type is equal to two of set y is equal to eight times the h. And then we'll make this one even a little bit bigger. W equals, oh, why don't we say 48? And height is equal to 48. What we could also do, and now our closing curly for that, I'll just put a comment here and random type. If we wanted to, we could even we have our max health as 100, but maybe my max health equals 40 for the small ones. We can just leave the, or we can even shrink it down. Max health is equal to 80. And then health is equal to 120. So they, the little ones only hit twice. The medium ones will hit four times and then six times. So it makes a different type of difficulty on them based on their size structure. So if we do this, take a look at it, we'll see, well, we've got, got, got a few things going on here. So a couple things apparently didn't work. So let's troubleshoot the code and figure out what went wrong. 
Well, the first thing I just realized uh, we never did is we never did change which image we're looking at. So I need to change which sprite sheet so there's actually data for it. And I know that there's now going to be another part that's going to break on here. And I realized I forgot to actually add it. Close that. I was looking at a source one, not the current lecture file. So let me go paste that image in. So now we have it in our data folder. So if the image is missing, yeah, we're going to run into a problem. As it says, the file is missing. So let's try and run this. And we can see, so the dark one works, but the blue one, yeah, things got a little messy. Well, one thing to keep in mind is when we tell it to draw, we gave a new width and height to it. So what we really need is we need, just like we have our source X and source Y that we're working with when we're copying off of this, we need kind of a sprite width and a sprite height, which is the height on the sprite sheet, not the height and width that we're choosing to draw it. So I'm going to put S, H, and S, W here. Then what we're going to do is add in those two values. So sprite width, sprite height. So we've added those in. And now that is going to be sprite width equals 32, sprite height equals 32. So that is the size of each one of each piece of the artwork here. Well, let's try again. So each one of these frames is 32. So we know that every one that we are copying is 32. So that is the size it should be on there. So let's try and run this again. And now we can see, okay, little guys didn't quite work. Big guy, so it's getting closer. So let's just comment these out and see if we can troubleshoot. Okay, so now the green one's working that. Okay. Let's run again, make sure the blue one shows up correctly. Okay, two darks, two blues. Okay, so that is working when we're doing that. So our copying is a little bit off here. So looking through this, I realized that I set my offsets based on height and width, which should be our source width and our source height. So the, those values, not the height and width that we're working with there. So now if we look closer, let's see if we can get a blue one to show up. Oh, and the blue one is at 32. So. We also have to go, when we're updating the sprite art, realize we're using our sprite width and our sprite height. So updating of the artwork is based on the size of the artwork on our sprite sheet. It's not based on the size we're making the sprite appear in game. So whether we're scaling it up or down, that's just X, Y, width, and height. So this is why we need the second value, the sprite width and sprite height. So everywhere that we were using it before, we need to update it here, we need to update it here, then that takes care of it. We also will notice as we uh, go through, we're gonna have to modify the health bar a little bit so it shows up cleaner with our sprite. So we get the correct size showing up. And while we're displaying our health bars correctly, the, we got some issues with our health and max health because the health, when if they were to reset, it would reset it correctly. But what we need to do is we need to do like we did at the beginning, health equals max health. 
So if I go in and paste these in, now our health bars look correct for it. And Okay, so that one took four to kill that guy. Let's go get some new ammo. And six to kill the blue one. So let's respawn and see if we can get a green one. All right, two blues, it's not what we want. Try again. Okay, now we got a green guy there. So now let's, there half his health went away. And two hits, it kills him. So we're able to give the enemies different health. We can use different sections of the sprite sheet. We can scale it down. So not a lot of code to add in variety to the game. Now if my sprite sheet wasn't just three sets of unicorns, but were three separate monsters and I displayed those with different health. They each had different sizes. We can have that occur as well. I could have a separate sprite sheet for each one and choose to display that one. So we would store, you know, which enemy art we want to look at in a variable and then say that is the artwork that we are choosing to copy. So we say, you know, which image we're choosing to look at. So we'd have a variable stored with it. So there's a couple of different ways you can go about it. Get creative and have fun coding.